So let's go to the wild garden and hunt for some chickweed. Actually, chickweed, we're kind of stepping on it right now even, but I want to bring you up close to a spot where it likes to grow. It likes to grow in rich, moist soil and part shade it likes to. Um, so chickweed is scientifically called Stellaria media of the Caryophyllaceae family. Here under this shrub is some delicious looking chickweed emerging right here. So how are you going to know you have the right plant? How are you going to ID this? Let's give you the chickweed clues. So this looks like an awesome specimen to show you how to ID chickweed. So let's pick that. So let's have a good look at this lovely chickweed friend. Um, how are you going to key this out? How do you know you have the right plant? So you're looking for leaves that oppose each other. So they're in an opposite leaf arrangement and they have leaf stems called petioles, there they are. That leaf shape is very heart-like here or really eggy or also spade-like. So you're looking for that shape. Um, the leaf stem here, that petiole has small hairs. I hope you can see that. Sometimes they're less visible, but they're there. Marginal hairs there. The leaf itself here on the margin really is, is pretty, it's entire. It does not have serrations or lobing. It's not indented. It's called entire. And then if we look at the back, you can see there's usually on the main stem of the plant, there's this fine line of hairs, these very subtle but, but present little hairs. Um, so we're looking for all those clues. Let's see what else to say about this plant. Um, Taste-wise, smell-wise, it's extremely green, chlorophyll-rich, and mild. It does not have a lot of spice to it or bitterness or aroma. It's not an aromatic. It's really high in minerals. It's really high in vitamin C and beta-carotene. Um, it also has cooling qualities so that it's used for um, heated skin conditions, topically used for eczema, for rashes. Internally, it can be helpful for constitutions that are dealing with a lot of heat. Um, and another thing to notice about the plant is that it really doesn't have a strong main stem so that it does not grow very tall. It pretty much mounds on the ground, sort of crawling on the ground. It's called prostrate. In terms of use, this makes an excellent salad green. At this stage, the tender part is pretty much everywhere because it's so young. And, and uh, sometimes as it matures, or it does as it matures, the stem, the main stem gets really stringy. So we'd like to remove that. But for today, we're going to actually pinch off these very delicious tips just like that. Maybe we'll go down. So this is a node right here where the leaves meet the main stem. The leaf stalks meet the main stem. That's our node. And I'd say today we're going to forage and we're going to pick right there to the second node or third node um, and makes an excellent salad and the bulk of a salad can be made up of chickweed. We can also put it into soups and stews, but we'd put it in at the very end because it cooks so quickly. Um, yeah, this is this is growing everywhere where the soil is moist and there's enough richness. So we'll scan, you know, meaning everywhere here on the landscape, and we want to put a good amount of this into our salad. 